Hi and welcome. Thanks for tuning in to the channel. I'm PackRat556. This is going to be a video that's a bit different from any that I've made here before. And I'm sorry for the boring visual, but as you probably already know, I'm not one to stand in front of the camera to talk very much. I had a few things on my mind that I wanted to share with my subscribers, and I felt that this video would be the easiest way to do so. So here goes. As most of you probably already know, there are always those people that have negative things to say about any and everything that is posted here on YouTube. I'm sure that there are those of you who have your own channels who have dealt with people criticizing your efforts here as well. I think it's great to ask questions of people who post videos and it's also great to offer constructive criticism as well. For me, that has always been welcomed. The unfortunate thing is that many times the criticism that is offered is not constructive. It's often disrespectful and sometimes even hateful. I have seen many channels where people have gone back and forth arguing and many times resulting in profanity and even insults. Fortunately, I've only been met with a relatively small amount of this with my channel and when I've been met with negativity, I've always tried to be patient and explain my point of view or my reasoning for posting whatever was in question. I have also tried to admit when I make mistakes as well. I have always welcomed input from others out there who know more than me and I've always sincerely appreciated those people who take the time to offer constructive comments and suggestions on my channel. One thing you have never seen on the Pack Rat 556 Outdoors channel is me lose my cool and get ugly with anyone. If someone is hateful on my channel, I simply delete them and block them with no need to make much response. I maintain this channel for fun and enjoyment to share, not fight and argue and make insults back and forth through a keyboard. Recently, a user here on YouTube whose channel name I don't really feel is necessary to mention right now made the following comment on the front page of my channel. Quoting, I can't help but notice that you've been endorsing products lately. In fact, you've been so specific with brands and models that I became suspicious. Sadly, a quick Google search revealed dozens of blogs warning of YouTube gurus who are paid or reimbursed with free gear to endorse a company's products. A sellout's credibility is worthless. It's nothing short of deceiving honest people who are trying to make an informed decision in times of financial woe. I hope I'm wrong, but I doubt it. End quote. First of all, I am not angry about the comment that was made. I have to say, I was a bit aggravated when I first saw it, but the person who made the comment has a genuine concern, so I believe it is within their rights to address it. As well, I feel I have the right to address it back, so I hope there will be no hard feelings from them for my response with this video, just as there is no hard feelings from me for them expressing their concern. I would like to officially state that my channel is not and will not be for sale at any time for any price. As I stated earlier, I do this for fun and enjoyment because the content of my channel is a lifelong passion for me. I have not ever received a single penny for a single video I have filmed or uploaded to my channel. The concern that was expressed is that there are gurus or self-proclaimed gurus on here that will deceive others into making a decision to purchase gear or products based on misinformation. I believe that while there are always frauds out there, a large number of the people on YouTube who are making these reviews are sharing their genuine opinions of the product that they demonstrate out of goodwill. Have I ever received a product from a company to review here on YouTube? Yes but with the understanding that I will review it in the way that I see fit and that I will be honest regardless. With that said, 99% of the gear that I mention or review on my channel is purchased by me at retail price. If you've ever watched my videos, how many of my reviews do I, or how many product reviews do I really have? It's only one portion of the videos that I upload. Personally, I think it is smart for a company to offer to experienced users the opportunity to field test their products. They also take a risk as well. If they don't have a quality product, it's going to be known by the very people that they are trying to market to. Let me give you an example of how I see this. Let's say that I received a widget 
from a company that requests for me to review their product with the terms that after I give them a favorable video review I'm free to keep that widget for myself at no cost. Let's say that the retail value of a widget is anywhere from fifty to a hundred dollars. Now I spend the time to field test that widget and while doing this I determine that the product really isn't that great and far from what the company says it is anyway. But because I get to keep that not so great widget I then spend six to eight hours more filming, editing, and uploading a video that's going to mislead my friends and subscribers here. If I spend eight hours to review a fifty dollar item, what have I really gained? In my mind, I'm already in the hole even if the widget is everything that the company says it is. Also, in my mind, fifty to a hundred dollar product isn't worth eight hours of my personal time. What does make it worth my time is having the opportunity to share with others and inform them of a great product that may help them and to demonstrate it for them so that they can see it in the hands of an actual user. I would feel much better if I went out and spent 50 bucks of my own hard-earned money to find out that a widget is not all that it is cracked up to be than to spend eight hours of my personal time to produce a video that is lying to thousands of subscribers just so I can keep that useless product. By my logic, that just don't add up. I'm sure someone might be thinking that it doesn't take really six to eight hours to make a video review either. But for me, planning my review, setting up, making mistakes, editing, adding titles, saving the video into an uploadable format, and uploading takes me this long easily. In my experience, the companies that are offering gurus the opportunity to field test and review their products are usually companies who have a great product and are trying to get the word out by actually demonstrating the quality of their products in the hands of people who know what they are holding. One other thing I think is worth mentioning, let's say there is someone out there on YouTube who is getting paid to review gear or make videos for whatever reason. I think that is just fine as long as the integrity is there. Why can't they be compensated for their time and effort if they are providing an honest service of informing people of a good product? I know I've been turned on to many good products by other users here and I appreciated their spot on recommendations. The bottom line for me is as long as the review is honest and from the heart then more power to them. The reality is at the end of the day it is the responsibility of the individual to look at a product for themselves and decide whether or not it is worth them spending their hard earned money on. I don't drink Kool-Aid from anybody, however there are several reputable people out there that I do trust and some of them are even ones that I know receive compensation from the companies whose products they review. But again, I don't follow and I don't recommend for others to blindly follow anyone's recommendations. I have stated in the past that with this channel I am personally committed to providing only accurate and truthful information to my viewers, whether in a product review, demonstrating survival techniques, or any other topic I might cover, I promise that the videos I upload to the Packrat 556 Outdoors channel will be nothing but sincere, honest, and truthful information based on my own experience to the best of my ability. This is my commitment to my subscribers here on this channel and it comes from the heart. I thank you for taking the time to listen to this and I welcome your comments and opinions on this matter. As always, take care and God bless.